Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, you guys, I broke a nail. Look. <laughs> um, ew, that was so ugly. But you guys, hello. Happy fucking February. Like, I can't believe. Well, actually, I feel like this year is going by a little too slow. Um, but yeah, it's fucking February, and you guys know what that means. Like, Valentine's Day, like the month of love, Black History Month. Like, this is a really, really good month, and I'm very excited for just this year. It's just going easy breezy. Um, and I'm still here, you guys. I had to take a, last Friday was a little, was a little hiccup. I was just very busy. <laughs> but I am back, um, and we're gonna play with some makeup today. So, before we start, because today's video is gonna be very Kylie Jenner, Valentine's Day collection inspired. I actually wanted to, like, show you guys this palette. I bought this with my money at Sephora. This is the Anastasia Primrose. And you guys know, like, I, I truly, I'm just not an Anastasia Beverly Hills kind of girl. Like, I just, I just don't really like her, her products. I just don't think they're, I think, I just think they're overly hyped. And and, but when I was walking to Sephora, long story short, I literally saw this palette and I was so drawn into it. I literally picked up the last palette. Like I was literally the, the only one in the store. I had one palette left and I kind of took that as, okay, it's probably meant to be, you know what I mean? So I picked it up. Um, I was just really drawn to like these colors here. Like I really love this color as like a cheek. So if you guys see my cheek, it's a little different from what I usually use. I usually go more orange. Let me know if you guys think this is even like nice. Like it's literally this whole combination here. I don't know if I like it. It's kind of like, I'm not really fond of it. You know what I mean? And I feel like these colors are just kind of like, meh. You know, I really bought it for like these two right here. Does it look good? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys tried that palette. Do you guys like it or not? Okay, so I was on Instagram and I was like literally like going through the gram and I came across Kylie's new launch. Now this launch, I am I'm actually like very intrigued by, you know, like I'm intrigued by the colors. I'm intrigued by the vibe. I love Love the heart thing, you know, the heart thing that she has kind of going on there. I really do like the full collection. I think the collection looks really dope. Now, am I going to buy this collection? Absolutely not. Honestly, you guys, I don't wear pinks. I don't wear a lot of those colors. It's not my vibe. I feel like this collection is cute for what it is. I just don't think it's a collection that is like one of her best. You know what I mean? I saw these lashes and I was like, absolutely fucking not. Like, how tiny are those lashes, you guys? Like, literally. What? What is that? Like, I just don't understand what that is. But do I think it's a very cute collection? I think it's a really cute overall collection. Um, So in the office, you guys, I do not have any Kylie products. I'm not on her PR list. It is impossible to get on her PR list because I feel like she only gives it to people that don't do videos. So um, I'm going to do my best today to kind of recreate this look right here, but kind of take it to the next level. I'm going to elevate this makeup. Like, you see her makeup, how it's like that really pretty sharp red crease with the pink beautiful like baby pink like lid you know i'm gonna elevate that look when i saw that makeup i was just like wow i want to do that <laughs> so i got some products here that, of my own um and we're gonna do our best to kind of recreate this look jumping into p louise you guys i'm gonna go ahead and mix these two products i'm gonna go ahead and use a liner from ColourPop. um we're gonna go ahead and use this as like the cut creaser you know what i mean first of all i'm gonna take a brush I'm gonna try to blur all this nose contour out. I really, really want like a very clean slate. Like I want like a very clean base for this eyeshadow. Like I'm thinking, how am I going to recreate this look? In the makeup, she has like a kind of like a very beautiful cut crease, very simple. It kind of goes like this and it just kind of goes down. I'm thinking like here and in here. Like something like that. I'm just gonna softly sketch it. But I want it to kind of like skip in the middle. Like I want it, I want that little space. I, I don't know, I feel like I might do something really cool with that area. Okay. Now that I have it kind of sketched out, you can kind of see like what I'm doing. I just want to take it to the next level. I was literally going to like recreate it and kind of make it the same, but obviously me and Kylie's uh, lid space is a little different. I have a very unique lid space, you guys. Like there's so many looks that I want to do with my eye space that I just cannot do. There, there's just so many things that you guys are probably like, oh my God, Kimora, your eyelids are fine. No, like everyone has like flaws about themselves and one of my flaws is my eyelid. I really wish like I had 
had like really good eyelids. Like I want like almost like a flat eyelid because I feel like a flat, you just get like, it's like a blank canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stretch this out like that. I really want this area around my nose bridge to be really dramatic. So now that I have like what I think I might want, like I kind of can see it. I don't even know what I'm talking about you guys because I'm, I'm kind of like literally going as I go and just kind of like hoping for the best. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush. I'm gonna do a little lip brush. And the reason why I'm gonna do a lip brush, you guys, is because I'm turning around in my chair and trying to find like something that I can use that's red. I have a House Labs uh, lip matte crayon. Um, and the reason why I picked a lipstick is because we want like that consistency where it's like almost like lippy and you can blend it. I don't know how to explain it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start to kind of blend it. See, I think to enhance the color, you guys, we're gonna have to get deeper. It does kind of like blend and make it really pretty. So I'm not like too mad about what I just did. Let's move on to the next step. You guys remember this Morphe palette, the 35S Sweet Oasis? <gasps> okay, so I think, I think these colors right here are gonna fucking do it. Okay, so, oh my God, this palette's so fucking beautiful. I literally forgot about this palette. Morphe, like this palette was so stunning. Look how beautiful these colors are. Okay, I think we might have it. So I'm gonna be picking this really dark vineyard color right here to kind of line the bottom, to kind of make it deeper, okay? That definitely gave it like a very deep kind of moment. Okay, I do like where this is going. Now that's kind of on there. Let's go ahead and take a brush, a very thin brush, and let's go ahead and take some of this really pretty lavender color and just really kind of buff it in there. Okay, like that. And this is as dark as it's gonna get, you guys. Like I'm not planning to put like blacks or anything like that. We we're gonna keep this really, really, really simple. Okay, so just like that. We're gonna start to kind of blend up. Go a little at a time. You don't need to put so much on. Oh, when that baby pink gets in there, it's gonna be so fucking pretty. Now, I will have to say, this is not the color that I was expecting, but I'm actually not mad about it. Like, I, I like this color. I think red is really hard to achieve as a liner, maybe doing like a red liner, but we're gonna take it to the next level. We're gonna see what we can do as transforming what Kylie has on her eyes. I'm like literally loving where this is going. I'm not mad at all. We're gonna go ahead and mix some colors. So on a Petri dish, you guys, we're gonna mix white and we're gonna mix a little bit of this pink to kind of get like a very baby, pretty pink color. A little bit of white and a little bit of pink, okay? We have something like this, so it's like pink and white. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix it together. And my goal is to really have it like very baby pink. So obviously you guys, that is way too pink. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more white. I feel like that is really pretty. Like I feel like that pink is really pretty. So let's get the pink. Oh my God, how fucking pretty is that pink? I want you guys to cover your whole eye. Oh my God, how fucking pretty. And I'm gonna start kind of the same on both eyes. I could have definitely um, not used this much. <laughs> oh my God, how pretty is that? Now that little open area, you guys don't cover it too much. We're gonna go ahead and do like some glitter right there. Oh my God, how fucking pretty is that? So when you guys get to the inner corner, don't go too close. I purposely just left this little area right here. For that area, for some reason, I don't wanna make it so precise. I kinda wanna take what I have on my eyes and just kinda blend it. Just kinda take it and just really blend. Taking a clean brush, we're just gonna feather off this pink. Feather off, you guys, just basically means like you take an empty brush or like a clean brush and you just kind of feather it out. It just kind of blends into whatever product you have on the edge. How are we looking so far, you guys? Are we loving it? Okay, perfect. What we want to do next, you guys, is take a very clean brush. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up like a very flat, like just very clean blending brush. So I'm going to actually go ahead and use this color here from this Morphe palette. This one's called Love Struck. And I'm just going to start to kind of set this cream product. Just go ahead and set it. It's supposed to look very light, very airy. How pretty is that, you guys? Are you guys still with me? So now that we have that kind of already set, we kind of know what we're doing already. I like where it's going. I love this kind of vibe. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this Picture Perfect. We're just gonna blend this shade right here. Just really light, like a soft shade, so it kind of gives it like some depth. We start to see like a little shadow work happening here. 
Ooh, I love where it's going. Now we're gonna go ahead and deepen it up just a tad bit. Um, so go ahead and take out like a very thin brush. I'm gonna use that really pretty vineyard color that we used earlier. I'm just gonna kind of shade in right here. Remember, I'm not using black, you guys. I'm using just purples and plums and just kind of colors that kind of stay in the family. So in this case, we're dealing with purples and pinks and plums and really pretty shades. So obviously the plum color is gonna look kind of like, almost like your black color. Ooh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Take a little tiny brush and let's do like a little, a little shine. Okay, I feel like I'm featuring this palette today. I didn't even know, I didn't even know I was gonna use this palette, you guys. <laughs> I swear, I did not even know. Okay, let's get a little shine in there. Ooh, how stunning is that? Okay, so now the glitter part. So we have a little color pop and we have a little Mac. These are little Mac stars, they're glitter stars. I'm gonna do a little bit like right here. Like I want it to kind of drip stars, like dripping kind of like glitter. So this is a very easy product because it's almost like a gel. Oh my God, how cute is that, you guys? Like I actually, ooh. So just do a little tap. And these are like one of my favorite glitters from ColourPop. You don't need like a glue for it. I kind of want some, I kind of want like a star or two in there. I think these are really easy to push. I really actually hope that these literally just kind of stick. Oh yeah, they do. I kind of want some in there. Like these literally just stick to anything. How gorge. I'm so proud of it right now. Like, and I'm honestly not like a glitter person. Like, girl, get into that. So now I wanna quickly do a liner. I'm just gonna do a liner like that. I call this like my half liner. So now you guys are probably wondering what you're gonna do on the bottom. Of course, baby, let's go ahead and get the bottom done. I wanna do some pink on the bottom. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this baby pink still, and I'm gonna treat this as my primer. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and put some pink on the bottom to kind of blur it in. I know it's a little messy, but I'm gonna use it as my primer. You'll see right here. You guys know I love a very dark under eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this Yacht Live color and let's go ahead and apply. And you can keep going darker. I'm only using the plum color, you guys, okay? I'm not even using any blacks. All right, you guys, so now, I kind of want like something bright in the inner corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same thing I've used right here, but just kind of like right here. Damn, this palette is so bomb. Um, wow, I actually, I am very actually impressed, you guys. I'm gonna do a little, a little highlight from Huda Beauty. I'm gonna do some pink blush, but I don't have any, so let's get a little pink in there. So this is Lash, um, Tati Lashes. I'm just gonna use these. I feel like these would like look good. Oh my God, did I just lose my lashes? Yeah, this was definitely not the eye that I was kind of expecting, but you know what? I like it, this works. We're gonna go ahead and choose a lip together. I'm honestly thinking a nude, but like a very shimmery nude. I don't think pink with this. I think pink with this would be a little too much. Like I'm thinking like something very light. I'm thinking something very like just pretty pinched, very clean, very, you know, not too like dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of Too Faced and we're gonna just kind of line up the lips. I do love this lip liner. If I would've went like a dark lip with this, ew. So I'm just gonna go very light. Something just very light. And maybe like a little Kylie Jenner like lip gloss like this. You see? Oh, oh my God, how pretty is that, you guys? And that's pretty much it. Like, I don't think like I need to like go nuts. I do not curl my lashes because I ain't got no lashes to curl. So all I do is I just put some mascara because sometimes when I do shadow, it gets on, it literally gets on the lashes and I don't like a dusty lash. And pray to hope that you guys don't see my actual lashes. I really wish like I had longer lashes. I don't do, okay, so here's a little secret of mine, you guys. I don't do a lot of just lash looks because I'm very insecure about the way I look with, all, with just lashes on. So in the comments below, if you would like me to do a video on what I think looks good with just lashes, let me know. Okay, so now I'm just really curving that in. I want like a pink highlight. So I'm gonna use a little Jeffree Star. Ooh. Oh my God, do we like that? You guys, look at that. Oh my God. Oh, okay, bitch. <laughs> okay, let me tell. I just totally dropped my settings break because I got excited. A little holy mist. Okay, you guys, I will be right back. Let me go ahead and curl my hair and give you guys the final look. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, so I did not know what to wear. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cover myself in 
full glitter and give a little fantasy. I mean, honestly, like this is only for photos. Like I want to be glistening. I know it looks a little crazy on camera right now, but when you guys check my Instagram out, you guys will see the finished product. But you guys get into the makeup. The hair is done. The hair is, I was like, you know what, bitch, I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my hair and just call it a day. I am fully in love with this eye. Like I feel like I did a really good job with this eye. Like I, I'm really, really, really proud of it. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in and check me out. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're in love with me, come back and visit me. You guys already know this is Kimura Black and it's crazy cause I just got a text as I'm doing this video for my partner and it is so crazy that today, five years ago, RuPaul's Drag Race um, season nine uh, premiered me. Um, I, I will always, always cherish that moment. You know, um, I love drag, I love makeup, I love transformation, I love, I love every single thing about it. I, I love it, and it's just a, it's, a, it's always gonna be a part of me. Um, and I want to thank you guys so much for following on my journey. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you so much for just being with me all the time, and I love you guys. I want to do something obviously in the pink theme this month. So I'm thinking a wet pink eye and a really pretty nude lip, like very like soft, but like very theatrical, like wet, just wet, nasty old like eye. That sounds, that's kind of like what I'm gonna say. Or let's do a dark Valentine's. I don't know, you guys pick, okay? So in the comments below, would you guys like a wet pink, very soft, very pretty theatrical eye, or would you guys like a very dark, mysterious Valentine's Day? Um, and I would love to see what you guys think because I want to do that video for next week. So um, help me pick it out in the comments below. I'll be checking it throughout the next few days. And other than that, I love y'all, um, and I hope to see you guys soon. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a picture. <laughs>